This LibreTime tutorial is oriented to DJ users of an already set up LibreTime system. In this tutorial, we will explain how you can upload a short promotional segment that will be scheduled automatically between shows and between music tracks on automatically generated playlists. To do this, you will first need to record a short audio segment and encode it as an audio file such as an MP3. Once you have this recorded and edited to the appropriate length, you can then Open your LibreTime instance and log in. For the purpose of this, tutor this tutorial, we're going to assume that you didn't add the appropriate metadata to categorize the track when you were exporting it. But for future reference, you can usually do this with Audacity or whatever program you exported your audio track from. So now that the track, we're going to upload the track. And we're going to use this. Okay, so now that the track's been uploaded, we're going to make sure that it matches the criteria for the promo smart block. You should have gotten this information from your system admin, but if you want to check, you won't be able to directly edit it because you don't have permissions. But you can duplicate it, and then you should be able to test and see. Click edit and see what the smart block contains. So basically, it looks for tracks that have the genre metadata set to promo, and it selects one of them. If you click preview, it'll pull a random track from the database. Now, we are going to show you how to make the track you up just uploaded match for this. So click on tracks. And then click on Uploaded. And now you will see the one we just uploaded. So you can click on it. And then click on Edit. And now you can go to Genre. And type in Promo. Scroll down further and click Save. Now, if you click Preview a few times, you should see it pop up. Now everything is all set up. If you're working on a live system, you should go and delete the smart block you created so you aren't cluttering up the station's list of smart blocks. And that's all for this tutorial. You'll need to get the information from your system admin or program manager as to what metadata and genre name you need to use to have your tracks that you upload be automatically included. Thanks for tuning in.